Hello again, this is Easy from mslimiblog.com and this is a quick, quick review of Build 10149 Windows 10 Mobile on my Lumia 830. Uh, we recently just had um, Build 10136 uploaded on our channel and Microsoft decided to do a do a fast one on us and release the newer build just a week over when uh, 10136 was released. So that was a huge surprise to everyone today. Um, it's a Thursday. We usually use the same builds on Fridays or Tuesdays. So this was a pleasant surprise. Um, Microsoft uh, gave us the pleasure of tweaking, refining, improving on Windows 10 Mobile to make it more usable. Um, I guess the main uh, purpose is to have more people run these builds daily to give more feedback, suggestions, and report bugs. So kudos to Microsoft on that. And that is exactly what they did with this latest build. Um, it's more responsive. Um, it looks cleaner. It looks nice to work with. Um, I used 10136 for the last seven days, and this is even better than 10136. Uh, it's really fluid, uh, smooth. It's almost close to what is on uh, Windows Phone 8.1. Let me see if I can get one real quick. So I've got one here. This is running the official Lumia Denim. This isn't any Twig Beta software. So as you can see, it's really responsive compared to 8.1. Um, previous views to Windows 10 Mobile were really buggy, really slow, uh, really, it was just horrible. You couldn't use it, but um, this is one view that I think multiple uh, websites have recommended using this as, you could use this as a daily driver. It does have its bugs, however. It's not 100% perfect, but, you know, that is the main, I think that's the main giveaway from this um, unexpected visitor on Windows 10 Mobile. Um, another pleasant surprise is the new, as you can see, the new um, browser. Microsoft Edge is now officially here. Um, no more codename Project Spartan. It's gone, and you have your official Microsoft Edge browser. Apart from that, nothing has changed really. It's still the same um, browser. Oh, one thing they did move the address bar to the bottom of your browser. So this is one of this is, if not the most requested feature. I remember previous views, Microsoft sent out uh, notifications asking users to give feedback on where they wanted the address bar to be. So it's really nice to see that implemented. Microsoft is listening to your feedback, so keep those feedbacks coming. I'm going to do a quick uh, HTML5 test here. Yeah, I think I ran it before on the last build I got for one. So this is for two. So there's not a lot of uh, improvements, but you know, it's still early. A bunch of stuff still coming. This share button is now grayed out because that doesn't work. It didn't work in 10136 build. Um, then it wasn't grayed out. You would press it and nothing would happen. But right now, uh, Max are actually grayed out. So it's actually now disabled. So I guess they're working on it. And uh, we'll see. So let's see what else. Oh, I don't know if you noticed the new animations. You can see how the screen just flashes out. And Cortana also got a few enhancements of her own. And it crashed. So, yeah, it's not perfect, like I said. I'm going to launch that again. You can see the nice animation. It's really smooth and and it crashed again so we'll have to come back to it um, other improvement changes we have here um, there is there is this problem where the quiet hours is blinking I have no reason why it's doing that but um, apart from that you now have a mobile data toggle button so I can use this to show off my mobile data real quick you press it again to turn it off turn it on uh, you have a new flashlight action button there to turn on your flashlight as you can see 
and turn it back off and if you actually do want to go into the settings for these different um, action buttons you can actually hold it down and it should take you inside the settings so that's a really nice uh, feature another feature here is you can use multiple fingers to swipe away all your notifications and they all go away so uh, one finger just takes some um, one at a time multiple fingers just drags if you have a lot of notifications and you're overwhelmed you can just use that to just grab them all away it takes every single one of them and just clears out your notification center so that's a nice feature and also we have an additional row of uh, action buttons here you can go into settings <laughs> You can go into settings to uh, move stuff around, edit, and you know you can delete one row if you want. So you have that option. Um, overall, I think that is it on this new build. It's mainly, like I said before, mainly UI, um, user experience um, enhancements that have been made to this build. So um, it's more fluid, it's more smooth. Um, everything looks to be working. Oh, there are slight UI changes also. Uh, you can see the new um, app list um, shortcut, uh, what you call it, to so just uh, jump list pretty much to jump to wherever. Or you can use the search, you can use that also. I would like the option to, yeah, so you can tap an app in here and you can just use search the store and it takes you into the store. So say I search for Uno, I don't have it installed. I can just quickly click search store and it takes me directly to the Windows store. So that's really, and you see how fast it actually launches. I mean, it's not like lightning fast, but you can see how smooth it is. Um, if you seen um, our previous uh, preview video on the last video, you can quickly see how um, the contrast and differences are between the last build and this one. Um, overall, most of the applications here will be individually updated by the different development teams at Microsoft. So, like the store, maps, um, OneNote, uh, Music, um, Outlook Mail, all these apps will get updates from the store. They're no longer tied to the actual firmware OS running on the system. So. That is a nice strategy Microsoft is using to push out updates really fast. And that would help in the future too um, when new updates come out because uh, most of the uh, core functions of the OS are just apps that you can update from the store. So that works too. All in all, it is a nice view. I think the next question we should be asking is when developers will be updating the apps to make them compatible with Windows 10 Mobile because right now this is what I get from some of the apps I use for instance True Color and it crashes so I think to get that ultimate Windows 10 Mobile experience the next step after Microsoft has um, streamlined or polished uh, Windows 10 Mobile would be for um, you know developers to get their hands on SDKs to update their apps to either universal apps or compatible uh, Windows 10 mobile apps so yeah and that is a quick look at Windows 10 mobile build 101.49 all right oh, um, Cortana still is crashing Let's see it works it crashes again all right, I'm going to reboot the phone real quick. I'll see you on the other side. All right, I did a reboot. And well, one of the things you will notice is how small the battery icon is. I don't know why or if that's a kind of formatting bug, but it's really tiny. That is the battery icon right there. It's really small. But apart from that, let's go into Cortana real quick. Hope it launches this time. And, uh, and no crashing this time. So um, the huge improvement is, if you're familiar with previous views, 
um, like 10136, the last build, um, all the settings were laid out on the uh, hamburger menu. But right now they have all been restructured, moved around, and most of them reside inside notebook. So you can see your quiet hours, settings, and all your interests you can pick. Um, all these settings used to be under the hamburger menu. They have all been moved into the notebooks. Um, I think there's still a bug in Reminder where if you try to, to add, oh, it works now. So, yeah, in previous build 101.36, um, you couldn't get Reminders to work manually. So that's a huge plus. Uh, music search works as before on previous builds also and yeah and that is that is it um there are a few bugs as you just saw with cortana crashing once in a while apps will crash you have to reboot or you know have your work around to fix it um but two apps that I noticed were missing inside inside a hub is gone you see i have your windows feedback so oh, inside a hub is actually here uh, oh no, it wasn't there initially when I installed it. I guess it got installed later. Um, what else? Get started, which is a tutorial intro introduction introductory in tutorial to Windows 10 Mobile. Um, that never came back. It isn't in the previous build, and it never came back here for whatever reason. Um, there are a few bugs. I'll show you one of them right real quick. There is an orange bar that appears right there. So I don't know what that is. It just appears at the top for whatever reason. And, you know, that's just a UI bug thing. Probably easy to squash. And uh, let's see what else. There's a problem occasionally if you're using PIN on your phone. You might not get the PIN uh, keypad or it might be unresponsive uh, if your phone is locked. Uh, the work around this to try to open notification center and just use whatever notifications in there or your shortcuts to get in and use the pin keypad and looks like what else there is a minor problem with in-app purchases from the store beta uh, if you have apps that you actually purchase with your account you might not have access to those um, apps anymore maybe you would probably get a trial version but um, they're working on that. That's a known issue. Uh, what else? You might get blank uh, notifications in the action center. And uh, what we'll tweak? What else are we looking at here? And that's about um, the issues I can remember. But all in all, um, I think the main giveaway, like I said before, is the huge improvement to the UI, to the user interaction. Everything's really smooth, fluid. So it's apart from these minor bugs where occasionally you might need to reboot your phone or or whatever, everything is more polished. Um, there is a long way to go from this, but everything looks more refined. It's you would be you would want to use this. This is really nice. So you can see the camera app here. I'm loving this new settings with the transparent um, settings page there. Uh, there is a huge trend right now in Windows uh, feedback app where people want the uh, notification center to be transparent too, which is a good idea. It would make it look even more um, nice. Uh, there is this option where you hold down the Windows button if you want handed on a tablet. For some reason, this is 830. It has a 5-inch screen, but holding down the Windows button actually brings down... Um, the page so your your thumb or your finger can reach and um, this is more useful when you have a large um, phone like the 640 XL or the 1520 so say my hands can get up there I can just hold this down and do whatever it doesn't just work in a notification center uh, press it back to go back oh. Oh, I don't know what I did I think it goes up on its own after a while there you go so yeah it works in any page really so you can hold it down here so wherever and after a few seconds if you don't interact it goes back up although there should be a way to manually send it back up so let me see if that's possible press it again mm -mm. go back now it doesn't yeah so 
I guess there should be a manual way to have this go back up, but the other option is just to wait three seconds. I think it looks like it was three seconds and it would go back to normal. So yeah, um, that feature was actually just on Fabulous, but now it is on regular phones. You know, we'll take it. So yeah, that is trying to make this a really quick video because I think I covered the basics and uh, yeah, so yeah, I do recommend downloading this latest build from uh, Microsoft, the uh, build 101.49. Um, enjoy. Uh, the main reason they work on these things is for us to give feedback, suggestions, report bugs. So you want to make sure your Windows feedback app is really handy for reporting issues. Whatever ideas come into your head, you can just quickly uh, give your feedback. All right. Yeah, so that's a quick look at it. And... Again, this is easy. Thanks for watching. Bye.